Okay, good afternoon. It is 3.09, which may be the earliest I've ever done a video. Anyway, uh, today we're talking about the law signs. So, just as a general rule of law signs, looks like so. We have sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. Now, where we get those letters is if we have a triangle... The big A, B, C, the ones up top, those are my angles. And then the small letters are the ones opposite that. So we've got, <clears throat> we've got the angles. What this is really saying is that the relationship between the sine of this angle and the opposite side is consistent across the triangle. So... Um, what we want to do is we want to look at opposites. So I'm going to do, um, I think probably three or four of these, um, just to show you kind of one of each kind. Most of you guys, uh, got, uh, done in class. Uh, but for those of you who are in here, I want this to be out there for you. So we have sign of 29 over 5 equals the sine of 46 over x. So like any good proportion, we're going to use the cross product property of proportions. And then we're going to divide both sides by the sine of 29. From here, grab our handy dandy calculator, and we're going to go 5 times the sine of 46, divide by the sine of 29, and that's going to equal 7.4. Um, yeah, so that's it. So that's how you're going to do the first four. Um, numbers 5, 6, 7, and 8, you're going to have to do just one other step, um, and that is actually find one of the angles. So we're looking for these four angles. I'm going to do number 8, just, well, just because. So number 8, notice that we have this. We have that 33 in X, so we could start off by going sine of 33 over X, but we don't have anything to match it up with. We don't have this sign to where we could match it up with 52. And we don't have this angle to where we could match it up with the 16. Now, we can't find that angle with the tools we currently have. But what we can do is find this angle. We know that all three of these angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So we're going to go 52 plus 33. And that's going to give us 85. Then we go 180 minus 85. And that's going to give us 95 degrees. So now we can match these two up. So this is going to be the sine of 95 over 16. Cross multiply. Divide by the sine of 95. Grab our calculator. We're going to go 16 sine 33 divided by the sine of 95. And we get x equals 8.7. Now it's important to note that when we're looking at this, so if I put an 8.7 there, and that makes sense because we know that the larger the angle, the larger the side opposite it is going to be. So here we have 95, it's definitely going to be our biggest angle. So 16 is going to be our biggest side. So if I had ended up something with here that was like 18 or something, I would know that that was wrong because it was bigger than 16. I know that 16 has to be my biggest side. So, and someone just showed up, so I'll continue this in part two.